The American Ceramic Society and the Ceramic and Glass Industry Foundation are pleased to provide you with this instructional video for the teacher-led demonstration, Piezoelectric Materials. The objective of this lesson is to demonstrate the piezoelectric effect in several materials and explain why this property exists in certain materials. The piezoelectric effect of a ceramic disc and a polymer film will be demonstrated through the use of LEDs. Some of the materials used in this lesson are included in the Material Science Classroom Kit, while other items will need to be purchased. Those items are commonly found in grocery or department stores. In some instances, it is appropriate for students to bring some items from home, which helps pique their interest. The materials needed for this demonstration are two piezoelectric ceramic discs, two piezoelectric polymer films, four light-emitting diodes, LEDs, eight alligator clip sets, voltmeter, musical greeting card. Connect one LED to a piezoelectric polymer film so that one wire of the LED is connected to one leg of the film and the other wire on the LED is connected to the other leg of the film. Use the supplied alligator clips to make these connections. Then connect one LED to a piezoelectric ceramic disc so that the long wire of the LED is connected to the red wire of the disc and the other LED wire is connected to the black wire of the disc. With a very light tap, slowly increase the force until the LED visibly flashes with each tap. Show the effect to students. It is important to simply tap the disc and to not apply steady pressure. The room must be fairly dark to see the LED light. The LED light flash has been enhanced for this video. Then bend the polymer film back and forth slowly. Increase the speed at which you are bending the material until the LED lights up with each bending motion. Again, the room must be fairly dark to see the LED light, and the LED light flash has been enhanced for this video. Open the musical greeting card and explain the use of the piezoelectric material as a speaker. Take apart the card so that students can see the actual piezoelectric buzzer. If time allows, an additional activity with the materials can be performed with a voltmeter in place of the LED to measure the voltage generated by the piezoelectric. This provides a better indication of the piezoelectric effect as the light generated by the LED is very minimal. Connect the two piezoelectric materials in series and try to generate more voltage by simultaneously activating both materials. Consult the teacher's manual included in the Material Science Classroom Kit for discussion questions to ask before, during, and after the demonstration.